Around 1,800 Rohingya refugees boarded Navy vessel in the port city of Chittagong in southern Bangladesh. They have been sent to Bhashanchar Island, where 1,600 of their fellow refugees were relocated earlier this month. Abu Saleh and his wife, who have a young child, don't know what to expect. Most are saying things are fine over there. We are going because government told us the facilities are good over there, and so we are following their advice. No one really pressured us to go there. Human rights group have questioned whether the island is safe and can withstand natural disaster and floods, and whether the refugees were forced to go there against their will. The UN, who the international community and the various governments and the diplomats in, in, in Dhaka are all looking to, to actually take on this assessment, are just not being allowed to go there. Bangladesh is struggling to find a long-term solution to the Rohingya crisis. More than a million are living in the world's largest refugee camp at Cox's Bazar after fleeing Myanmar in 2017 during a military crackdown. The government is now looking to house some of them elsewhere. This is the second batch. The first batch went on December 4. The government is determined to relocate at least 100,000 refugees to this remote coastal island, despite opposition from rights groups and even the UN. Many Rohingya are worried about how safe the island is. People who are willing to go there also knows the risks involved. So why are they going there? I will never go because I'm afraid. But the commander of Bangladesh Navy in Chittagong is confident everything will be okay. Bangladesh government has taken up a project uh, three years back. And before taking up this project in Bhashanchor, uh, and detail a study has been carried out by international firm. Nowhere in the world any government has created such kind of project that in my knowledge goes. So this is that something that Bangladesh is proud of and we believe that Myanmar government will soon take them back to their country. Until then, uh, they are in safe hand in Bashanjo. With no means to earn a living and a congested living condition at Cox's Bazaar, some Rohingya refugees decided to take the chance. Life is hard in the camp and it's difficult to earn a living there. They said they will provide us with better living facilities and means to earn a living. Three years on, Rohingya refugees are increasingly frustrated. They don't have a voice in the decision-making process and feel their fate and destiny is at the mercy of others. Tanvir Chaudhry, Al Jazeera, Chittagong.